Why have you got a knighthood? Why have I got a knighthood? Isn't that a reward for failure? Look, I'm not going to justify why I've got a knighthood. I just think that that's a fool's errand trying to do that. Other people why? can decide when... Because, you know, you end up in a situation where any answer you give is not, is not going to work. I mean, as David uh, Cameron's PR man, shouldn't you have advised him that it was a very bad idea to give you a knighthood? Because he would look bad as a result. It would look like cronyism I as he look, left Downing I, Street. I don't accept that. Look, other people can decide whether or not it's appropriate for me to have a knighthood. Do you feel you deserve it? I'm going to allow other people to... I mean, you can keep asking me this. I'm not going to, to, to answer any more on that. Well, why, I don't see why you don't want to address how you feel about... And this is a big honour. You know, this is something that no, had been held by amazing no. knights of the realm, Winston Churchill, Francis Drake, Walter Raleigh, and now Craig Oliver. You must I feel... I feel very pre the, appreciative. That you deserve and, it. And the words that, you know, you know to, to use a pun, I feel very honoured by it. But I'm going to allow other people to decide whether they think that's appropriate or not. Um, you're sort of out now, aren't you? Are, are you... If George Osborne asked you to come back into politics, would you come back? No. You're out forever. I, I have no plans to go into politics anymore. I've had a very good six years, very happy doing it. I thought David Cameron was a great Prime Minister. I think history will see him as that. And I was very proud to work for him, but I think my time is done now. Craig Oliver, thank you very much for coming in. Sir Craig, sorry, I beg your pardon.